to Hague. And all along the way, there are hiking trails, mountains, uh, beautiful attractions along the way. And when you come back down on the east side of the lake, Hewlett's Landing and then other mountains to climb, as well as Fort Anne in Washington County, which is a big part of our agritourism in Washington County, and then circling back down around Queensbury. So the lake is the mecca for ice fishing come the winter time, but fishing all along. Uh, there's uh, 32 or 36 species of fish in the lake. And we're gonna talk about today the ways that you can enjoy the lake from accommodations to camping, to outdoor activities and year round fun. Next up, I do wanna lead off with all of our health and safety aspects. So we were early adopters uh, immediately because of our the essential nature of lodging. And we jumped right into all aspects of COVID safety and led the charge for our region in, in safely opening, safely and responsibly. So as we, as you see here, over 300 businesses took the pledge of safety and on their websites, on their menus, on their doors, you'll see our safety badges everywhere. We've since morphed that into a public pledge, which is, you know, don't make us ask, please wear a mask. So any public person who signs up either online or visit by visiting our, our outlets, uh, the Coastal Society store at our outlets, and or our Village Information Center, they can pick up a free mask. And we've just been very blessed by keeping people safe and taking everything seriously and ensuring that our businesses protect our neighbors and our staff first and foremost before we can even protect you as the traveler. So let's talk about where you will stay when you come to Lake George. We have the Mecca. So you can go from a bed and breakfast or a campground, condominiums and townhouses. We even have private home and vacation rentals if that's what you're looking for. We have full service resorts, cottages and cabins if you're really looking for the adirondack adventure. You know, start your, put a log on the fire and sit, or sit around the fireplace motels and hotels that go from very limited budget if that's what you're working with all the way up to you know room service and the whole the whole gamut um rvs we do have some of our accommodations are pet friendly some are on the water many are open year round there are rooms everywhere and again they all have the safety pledge and are disinfecting and sanitizing all the time it's been a very safe uh, COVID experience for us thus far, and we are grateful for that. So looking at the pictures, you can see we do have, our accommodations do have indoor pools. So if you're indoor and outdoor, if you're looking to come in the winter, if you're going to do some skiing or snowshoeing or anything that you'd like to do outside, many have indoor pools. So when you come request our information or you go on to each accommodation's personal website, you'll be able to see whether they offer indoor pools or not. But you also have the lake, um, not so much in the winter, but to each their own. Um, if you'd like, you can be waterfront, you can be near the water, on the water, close to the water, not near the water. We run the gamuts of mountain view and lake view of all of our accommodations. We have condos and townhomes. Again, some on the water, some not, some in the, in the woods. So whatever you would like, we have it all. If you rather sleep in your own personal home that you bring with you, we can adapt to that too, or tent camping. We have many, many campground sites here. Many are dog friendly and pet friendly. Some even have dog parks in them. Um, some are on the water again, some are not. Uh, there are many sites and some are still camping up until the snow flies. So you want to check out our RVs, you know, again, by lakegeorgechamber.com and see all the RV fun that is here in Lake, Lake George region. Well, while we're not New York City and it's and they're a tough act to follow, there are over 7,000 rooms in the in the market area as well as 5,000 campsites. So there are a variety of places, as Kim mentioned, to stay and sleep and, and be safe while enjoying the natural beauty all around, whether lakefront, waterfront, mountainfront. 
So we do want to remind you that if you wanted to request a travel guide that you could win um, either and be sent short hike books, uh, balsam pillows or a mask um, because that they all represent being safe and, and our outdoor nature. So there's a lot to do. And as the, as the fall winds down, right now there's still a lot of hiking to be done, as well as um, boat cruises, shopping, getting ready for the holiday season. All of our retailers are open, as well as um, as you're planning ahead for the winter, uh, we've already got strong bookings for to be here uh, for ice bar weekends uh, from late January through February at many of our, our properties. Um, and that was all led by the Sagamore Resort that's in Bolton Landing. Uh, skiing here, Gore Mountain and West Mountains will have ready for you, especially now that the governor's announced that, you know, ski uh, areas can open November 6th. We're very excited about that. And we're known for our winter carnival that's in February, every weekend in February, where you can do a a lot of things on Lake George, literally. You can watch the car races and the motorcycle races and the outhouse races, which we're gonna tell you a little bit more about. So history, nature, and events, that's what we're really known for. History from the, the Revolutionary War to the French and Indian War and, and many uh, battles in between. So from the Fort William Henry in Lake George up to Fort Ticonderoga, up in Ticonderoga, there is a lot of history to enjoy. Uh, we, uh, right now, it's, it's a wonderful time to come and enjoy because reenactments are happening on the weekends and again, to enjoy the backdrop of the fall colors. Uh, one of our signature events, the Adirondack Balloon, Balloon Festival, although we wasn't able to be held this year, it is a signature event that happens annually in the fall. And again, with the backdrop drop of the fall colors. Hiking never goes away, whether you hike during winter, spring, summer, or fall. Trails are open year round. Not all, but we do ask you to call in advance. We have seen a spike, as you can imagine, during COVID of many people getting outdoors and enjoying new trails that they've never enjoyed before in their lives. We do recommend that folks uh, call in advance, number one, to find out busier trails and or to make sure that you're carrying and wearing the right gear to truly hike responsibly, safely. And, um, you know, flip flops are not a good idea on some of the trails that here because our hikes are more of climbs. And so we'd want to help you along, whether you're a beginner and an inter intermediate or advanced hiker. Um, one of the things that you can do in this region that is unique to us is you can actually charter hiking guides um, that can take you out when you're, you know, you don't know the terrain or you're unsure about how long the distance is or what you would need. So if you call ahead, we can certainly give you, you know, set you up with some of our guides that can uh, assist you in that. Good, good call. We appreciate that. So as we mentioned, you know, outhouse races are really a thing here in the winter um, during the winter carnival. Our Adirondack uh, breweries all around um, Typically, we would enjoy a wine and food festival in late June. We're hoping that that will come back as well. Americade, a signature event here, Bike Week of the Northeast. Uh, we are very fortunate that anything on wheels, people love to be here. Car show weekend, while this year was not a sanctioned car show, you would have thought we actually had a car show in town. And the, the burnouts on Canada Street in the village of Lake George still are their proof that many, many car show enthusiasts were here enjoying the beauty of Lake George. And lastly, just regular events, as many of you know, um, so many normal events are not normal this year, um, but certainly virtually that we have been able to showcase Lake George in a variety of ways. And outdoors and in. So of course, anything on the lake out and about is the way to go here, fishing, and there's year round fishing. So fall fishermen, right now it's still bass season and trout fishing um, all around on a variety of lakes, not just Lake George. There's still zip lining to be had. And um, although whitewater rafting is really, is really the best in the spring, there's still some uh, folks that are operating as the, as the waters get cooler. 
And then there's also the indoor events. We have a variety of museums, um, both from Ulysses Grant home here in the area to the Hyde Museum and everyone in between. Um, we do enjoy a lot of indoor art and culture, uh, although we've at limited capacity and safely and responsibly, but certainly a lot of history and culture here in the Lake George area. And, and on the water, of course, and I keep saying all seasons right now, you could, you know, you, this summer and fall still, you can rent a boat, get on a cruise, be out there with your family. You can still parasail, you could paddleboard, kayak, canoe, jet ski, any way to be on the water. It's been a really great time to be there. And I'm, I'm sorry I didn't show some pictures that actually had all the fall colors this time. Um, but it's been, it's still a beautiful time to be here in the Lake George area. Let's talk about food, yay. So <laughs> we have everything for foodies. We go from diners. Um, we have a diner here, right here in the village that's actually been open since the 1940s. Um, family owned, you can go from diners. You can go, to, we have one of the only A&Ws left in the United States, still can order from your car and bring the little tray and get your root beer floats. Um, <laughs> you can, or we have upscale. We have two chefs in the area that have been featured on both Chopped and on MasterChef uh, on the Food Network. Works at Craft Beverage Trail. So we have uh, producers of craft beer, wine, cider, soda, what else am I missing? Spirits, uh, anything, anything. Hand sanitizer. Anything. Yes, we started making hand sanitizer this year and it's been wonderful. Um, so food is, is definitely, we are up and coming on the food scene in this region. Uh, so come hungry because there is literally every corner you turn, there's some type of restaurant from a uh, barbecue to uh, who knows what. You can find it all here and drinks where we just finished a harvest bar, which was a lovely setting of uh, pumpkins and gourds and an outdoor bar. And again, we talked about the ice bars in the winter, but besides the beverages, come hungry because the food here is amazing. And just to let you know, maybe some of you watched the Summer Rush series on the Food Network that featured three of our, our restaurants in the Bolton Landing area. It was a phenomenal summer for them. You would have seen it from last summer, but you can only imagine how busy they were this summer because of the Food Network and just that Summer Rush. So we've been so lucky that that, that was um, featured and that we all got to enjoy the, the food of the Bolton Landing area and everywhere else in the market area. Shopping, shopping, shop till you drop, right? After you've had some great meals, we'd wanna take you around the factory outlets of Lake George where every brand is available and easily outside. Um, that is an outdoor strip malls um, of the factory outlets as well as indoor shopping at our at our own aviation mall. And then we have a variety of, of our favorite specialty retailers all around. And I say that from local to, you know, Adirondack type shopping, as well as our own Lake George Olive Oil Company throughout the area. But, and we would like to recommend our downtown shopping from downtown Glens Falls to Bolton Landing to the village of Lake George, where one can really enjoy quaint boutiques, craft beverages, live theater, and local and all about the lake. And by the way, in the winter, snowmobile parking is available at many restaurants and throughout the village and other areas, because we see a lot of people come on their ATVs and their snowmobiles. So how's that for, you know, Great customer service. Before we get to the getting here, we also wanted to talk a little bit about when you talk about history and shopping rolled together, we have the Glens Falls Shirt Factory that at one time was a shirt factory and produced garments. And now it is, it is a, a hub of small boutiques and artisans in there. And it's just a great time. They do a food corral there um, with food trucks and a lot of events take place there. So it also when you come, I know that safety is such a concern. And if you look in the windows of a lot of the downtown shops, 
in all the specialty books and boutiques and the big stores, you will see our safety pledge in the window there. So um, we are very conscious of your safety. Now let's talk about how to get here. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, I'll take it away here. So here is very easy. For those of you in the Rochester area, you know, just I-90 to 87 North, um, we're just less than an hour up from Albany, maybe four hours max for you to coming, depending on how fast you drive on the throughway and on the Northway. And we encourage you to stop and visit the Adirondacks Welcome Center that's between exit 17 and 18 in um, the Lake George area. So the exits throughout all of the Lake George area start at exit 18 and go all the way to exit 25. So everything in between um, is all about the area. And we really want you to come and visit us here because we know it'll be easy and there'll be lots for you to do and enjoy and just a beautiful place to be. So again, request the travel guide so that you can get a free giveaway and all that information in there has all of our attractions, all of our accommodations, all of our dining, everything is in this travel guide. It's a must read. <laughs> so, okay. questions. All right, so thank you, Gina and Kim very much. Uh, we enjoyed that. There sure is a lot to do in Lake George.